Thank you so much. Um, thank you all for being here today in person on the live stream. And thank you, of course, to Gotham Early Music Scene and Midtown Concerts for having me. Um, so today's program features um, a selection of music by Johann Pachelbel, who, um, raise your hand here if you've heard Pachelbel's canon in D at any point in your life. OK, we've got a lot of show of hands here, and I'm sure many online as well. Uh, so Johann Pachelbel was one of the most important German composers in the generation before Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, he spent most of his career in Nuremberg in the south of Germany. And um, he was renowned as an organist and as a composer. Um, and he wrote a lot of music for the keyboard. Um, I'm curious, I, so the, the, the piece I chose uh, to begin first sounds a lot like that canon in D, right? It has a very similar bass line. So in the 17th century, uh, there was, a, there was a, a phenomenon called the ground, the ground bass. And this was a, a bass line that would repeat over and over again on, um, over which musicians would improvise or add variations. So the first piece on this is a chacona that has um, a very similar bass to what we, what we uh, know very familiarly from Pachelbel's Canon in D. And it was very common all throughout the 17th century for musicians to improvise and use these, these uh, ground bass formulas as, as the basis uh, for which to create music. So um, the first couple pieces here, uh, the Chacona, followed by this aria and six variations I'm about to play, um, rely on this variation form. So you heard that um, in, with each section that repeated, I tried to vary a little bit with dynamics or ornamentation. This was something that was very typically done of the period and which make, what makes this music so exciting from the 17th and 18th centuries is the, uh, the space that uh, the music leaves for the performer to add their own um, ornamentation and interpretation to the music. So I just want to briefly talk about the next few pieces um, on, for this program. So we have the aria and six variations from the hexachordum Apollonis, which was um, published in 1699. And this was quite an influential work and was one of Pachelbel's um, important contributions to keyboard music at the turn of the um, 18th century. Um, so this is um, the, the translation of that Latin is the six strings of Apollo. So this is a reference to Apollo, the, uh, the god of music. Um, and um, in, in this piece, there will be um, a tune that's varied um, over six variations of increasing, with increasing note values, increasing speed to them. So it's very interesting because you can hear um, how Pachelbel will take like a little germ of an idea and build upon it. Um, I should also say that Pachelbel was, was, um, has a connection to Johann Sebastian Bach in that he taught his um, Bach's, I believe it was his cousin, Johann Christoph. So there's there's, there's a lot of Pachelbel in the air for, for subsequent generations of, of musicians. Um, so then fo following that are two suites, um, one in B minor and one in F sharp minor. Now these are attributed to Pachelbel, but some people um, are not quite sure. So 
their, their contested pieces um, in Pachelbel's name, which adds a sense of mystery and excitement to them, I think, because at one point someone thought they were Pachelbel, another point some may believe they're not. So um, these are a series of, of dance movements. So this is a bit of a different style. You're going to hear the harpsichord um, played um, much more like uh, in a, a lute or plucked string instrument. There's going to be a lot of arpeggiation and whatnot. So the sweet and B minor and the sweet and F sharp minor are a series of, of dance movements. They both begin with um, an allemande. Um, they have a courant, which is a slightly faster dance. Um, one of them has a, a little aria. Um, there's a gavotte in the F sharp minor, one which is a very lively dance, and they both end with gigs, which is uh, French for, for jig. These are all sh smaller scale suites. Um, they're very compact, unlike perhaps the, uh, the um, longer movements that we expect from a composer like Bach. But they're very elegant pieces. Um, and again, uh, they, um, there's a lot of opportunity to vary them because they're, these dance movements are, are um, in binary form, so they're cut in half and each half is repeated, especially with these small, small scale works. It's nice to repeat them. And following those two are two short fugues, uh, one in G and in D major, that I think are, they're these joyful, um, almost triumphant fugues in which Pachelbel takes a little idea, which is called the subject, and he introduces it in one voice, just one line, and then adds lots of different layers and um, um, explores um, the various possibilities, the harmonic and rhythmic possibilities of that subject throughout. Um, so without further ado, I'll, I'll play the, the next set, um, and please feel free to applaud after each, each one. Um, and then I'm just going to speak a little bit more about my um, final improvisation. So thank you all.
just want to, to say something briefly before I do this improvisation. So for those um, not familiar with, with Pachelbel's canon in D, um, it has this repeating bass line. Similar to the Chacona we heard. And what makes it a canon is that all the, the violin parts follow each other in a sort of like a round, like uh, row, row, row your boat, that type of thing, so that you get this complex multi-layering um, of counterpoint, all these voices uh, working in tandem, which makes it a very enduring piece. Um, so I'm going to just um, improvise on that bass, sort of in my own style, inspired by Pachelbel, uh, just a little bit. Uh, so you're going to hear similar chord progressions. I'm not going to attempt uh, in, in an improvisational level of complexity as the canon, but I hope you enjoy um, the sort of culmination of, of what makes Pachelbel Pachelbel.
our great thanks to Jonathan for this fabulous concert and this rare treat of hearing Pachelbel's music on harpsichord and also for your wonderful improvisation. That was great. My name is John Thiessen. I'm executive director of Gotham Early Music Scene. My voice may not be strong today, but my fervor is for this series and everything else that Gotham Early Music Scene does. Midtown concerts are generously supported by you, our audience, and we thank you for your continuing support. Our sponsors include the Howard Gilman Foundation, the New York State Council for the Arts, and the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs. For our online viewers, please visit gemsny.org and show your support for this important series by making a generous donation. Now join us next week for Quartet Saladier in a program entitled The Road from Prague. That will be followed by a reception and celebration of our 150th live stream performance on YouTube. You won't want to miss that. That's next Thursday at 1.15 here at St. Malachy's Church, the Actors Chapel on West 49th between Broadway and 8th Avenue in beautiful Manhattan. Stay healthy, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.